Hello and welcome to the Butler Collegiate Newscast. I'm Mae Van Etten. Butler University recently launched their new website on Monday, February 7th. The new Butler Marketing, Communications, and Technology divisions have been working to develop this new website for a while, and their goal was to design it with prospective students in mind. Any visible issues in the website can be emailed to links.butler.edu. Visit butler.edu to see the new changes. Butler ballerinas will be performing in this year's Midwinter Dances starting today, February 9th, until Sunday, February 13th. The ballet Serenade will be featured six times at Clues Memorial Hall. Tickets are available online at butlerartcenter.org, or you can purchase them directly at Clues. Masks will be required to enter. Indianapolis received its first snowstorm last week as eight inches covered Butler's campus. Multimedia reporter Ethan Pollock found out what students were up to during these snowy days. What are two of the best words that a student could hear during the school year? Snow day. Well, Butler University experienced just that last week after a snowmageddon transformed the campus, leading students to turn back time to channel their inner childhoods. Starting Thursday afternoon, the light snowfall turned into a blizzard, forcing Butler to close in-person classes until the weekend. While some students bunkered down in their rooms, the Daredevils grabbed their snow gear and headed out into the winter wonderland. The students hiked across campus to the Bud and Jackie Selk Bowl to test out the steep hills. Their creativity was put on full display as they were using everything from cardboard to inner tubes as sleds. Some students even had the opportunity to experience their first major snow day. Sophomore finance major Andre Severa couldn't wait to build his first snowman. Um, no, yeah, it feels great. Uh, definitely adjusting to the difference of the compact of the snow. You know, don't get a lot of it. Try to make a snowman wasn't uh, the best out of the, couldn't really compact it that much, but I did with what I could, yeah. Rivera, who is from San Antonio, Texas, isn't used to the snow, so sledding for the first time was also a lot tougher than he thought. Absolutely. I wasn't sure where to balance my weight. I was like, okay, you know, it took, took a, maybe like a quarter of the way down the hill, but uh, couldn't pull a Sean White. From sledding to building snowmen, it's safe to say the students enjoyed every second of being able to reminisce in their childhoods once again. For the Butler Collegian, I'm Ethan Pollock. That's all for this week's Butler Collegian Newscast. To stay up to date with all things news on Butler's campus, visit us online at thebutlercollegian.com or on Twitter at Butler Collegian. For the Butler Collegian, I'm Mae Van Etten. Have a great week, dogs.